Is it morning still? I have no idea. Yes, 11.47 a.m. Sunday, January 24th. Don't get excited. I'm looking at the computer. Um, anyway, that sound in the background, it's my husband's air compressor. I don't know what he's doing Sunday morning with the air compressor on, but I guess I should go downstairs and find out. I've got some stuff on the table I cannot show you because it's for a class I'm going to be working on for um, a paid-for class for June. Um, stay tuned to this channel and my social media, my email newsletter and all of those things for the things because of the things, because it will be announced as soon as I can on all of those platforms. There's a link tree list of links down in the video description for which you can sign up for the email newsletter, follow me on Instagram, all of that stuff. So check it out. What else? Um, so I do want to get started on that. But it's Sunday. I don't have anything particular I have to do. So let's see what he's up to first. I'll be back. Okay, the husband is painting some of the floor vents for the heating system because the paint that was on them is chipping. They were originally white and painted by the prior homeowners. And um, anyway, they're chipping. And so we found the matching paint color at the store yesterday. It's one of the things that we did. And now he's He's been cleaning and painting them. That's why the compressor was on. So I could do the dishes. I could finish laundry. I could work, work on the downstairs daily art bag. I could work on the project for the class in June. Or I could edit the vlog a day early. I might edit the vlog. All right, I've got a full cup of water. Let's go upstairs. Okay, so it's Sunday evening. It's just before 5.30. I got all my Monday work done on Sunday. Hey guys, good morning. It is Monday morning, January 25th. What time is it? 9.51 a.m. And I'm just now logging into the computer, which is how I know that information. And I, as you probably know, have been trying some of the new YouTube shorts. Um... Um, short TikTok inspired videos. Uh, YouTube is trying to compete with TikTok and oh my god. <laughs> um, one of my shorts has exploded overnight. So it currently it had less than 100 views yesterday. It currently has 14,000 views. Now it has a lot of thumbs down um but it has 14,000 views and it's still 80.1% likes. Like, holy cow. So yeah, they work. All right, now I'm gonna send the info to my marketing manager, AKA my daughter and yeah, holy, holy cow. In the mail, my scissors are completely sticky from the project I was working on for the Vimeo class. They're so sticky, they don't want to cut open the eBay bag. So I ordered a punch from eBay that I'm having trouble getting out of the bag. Uh, okay, there we go. It's an old red uh, Biggs punch. Oh, that's nice. She sent a note. That's so nice. So it's a folder punch, so nothing big. So you don't have to have these to make art, but if you, you know, yeah, anyway. Um, my scissors are really like gross, like not just like it, like really gross. Um, I'm bad about cleaning my scissors. So the best way to get all that crap off is to scrape out it with a flat blade. Um, if I can find it. I see it. It won't come out. I 
can see it. Doesn't want to come out of the drawer. There we go. So one of these and um, alcohol. So I'm going to um, wet the scissors with alcohol and I'm going to wrap them in this paper towel, let them soak for a minute, and then I'm going to try to get the icky off. I'll be back. I think that'll work here. Let's see. Yes. It's not sticky. Yes. So I just soaked it for a little bit in some alcohol, wrapped in the paper towels, and then I scraped the junk off with this. It may still have a little bit on there, but it's not bad. I tend to get my scissors pretty junked up. So for crafting scissors, I don't tend to spend a lot of money on them anymore. I usually get them like at the dollar store. Um, fa fabric scissors are a little different and don't touch my fabric scissors for anything that's gluey or sticky or icky. <laughs> but um, for crafting scissors, I tend to get them pretty junked up. So I don't spend a lot of money on them because if I do, I'm just going to ruin it. Like I know me. So anyway, rubbing alcohol, a flat blade, it usually gets most of it off. All right, I'll be back. So we're going over to the Holiday House. It's what I've named it, nicknamed it. They do a huge thing at Christmas and something else at Halloween. And I don't think they usually do Valentine's that I remember. They have, they have this year. They did Thanksgiving too, yeah. So hang on a second, it's so cute. So this is the Holiday House. And it's so cute, the frog says, Happy Valentine's Day. And it's like, again, it's like three and a half weeks before. Yeah, Valentine's cute. Day. And nice to see that in the neighborhood, cheer everybody up a little bit, which is probably why they're doing it. Anyway, we're going to continue on our walk. It's all of about 41 degrees. So, yeah. They're saying we might still get the snow flurries sometime between today and Wednesday because it's not getting any warmer before then. So, fun. hey guys, it is after lunch on Tuesday, the 26th, I think, of January. I think. Um, I don't know exactly what time it is, but I know it's after 12. Anyway, I was live this morning with YouTube at the same time my car was finally getting picked up for service, at the same time they were finally calling me. And then they called me again just now while I was trying to eat lunch. And Dick Blick's de delivery that I ordered for with my Christmas gift card finally came and I think the mail finally came. Like it's just a busy day, Monday on Tuesday, holy cow. Anyway, it's all of about 38 degrees outside. It's a bit nippy even for me. I am in a sweatshirt, but it's a little cold. Not gonna be very clear. Um, so they heard you, dear. Oh. So they can kind of see that. So you see that coming there? I know the screen window screen is there. That's not rain. Not all of it, anyways. We're finally getting snow flurries. Yay! Woohoo! So happy. Okay guys, hello. It's 2.38 p.m. Wednesday, January 28th, I think. I think, uh, 27th. <laughs> I am going to watch my soap opera, maybe. General Hospital. I'm a long time General Hospital fan. I stopped watching it for a little while 
but I picked it back up again. Anyway, hello COVID. I was watching a YouTube video over lunch and I did not know there was round watercolor paper. Where have I been? There are companies out there that sell pads of round watercolor paper. Well, I have lots of watercolor paper. I don't really want to buy paper. So then I was like, do I have anything I could just cut circles with of watercolor paper? That would be cool to like be able to work on round watercolor paper sometimes. The answer to that is yes, I do. <laughs> this is called a Martha Stewart circle trimmer. Who has one of these? I don't even think they make it anymore. This is the, you know, shape thing with it. And it cuts circles from, it does all different size circles. Uh, one inch all the way up to five and a half inches. And it comes with the trimmer thing and like two extra blades. Now, well, my only problem with this is, what if I can't get any more blades? I'm going to put the extra blades in there. I'm going to look and see if anybody's got blades for these online. I might order a stash of them to just keep like inside there. Because um, I have the one blade that's in there. I haven't used this very much, but it came with. And then I've got two more that are here. That's all I have. And I can already tell you, I love using it for this. I, you know, it's been years and I've not been able to figure out what to use this for till now. And of course, I don't think they make it anymore. So that's a thing. Of course it is. All right, I'll be back. Hey guys, it is Thursday, January 28th, just before 11 a.m. Don't get excited. I'm looking at the iPad. Hello. I just got done um, adding in a new section to my work journal. So fun fact. So this is a work journal and in it I have everything from notes on how to do certain things on my computer that I can't seem to remember to do to class notes for class I've teaching I've teach I've teached that's proper English I've taught um, or classes I'm planning on teaching um, website designs and um, stencil and stamp ideas and designs like all of this stuff is in here like all of this stuff's in here and um yeah i'm gonna listen to some youtube videos and maybe do a little painting and yeah so i got the most important thing done today which was the notes in the book and the pdf created that was like top of the to-do list so that's done so now i have the rest of the day to play all right i'll be back
Watching this, I saw a clip of me painting, doing a little painting. I was painting some more greeting cards. I've got a big stack of them I need to do. So then I got a few more done today, which was great. Um, then I got two big batches of cookie dough done. So I have two big um, there you go. Two big Two big logs of cookie dough. This one in the front in the clear bag is regular. The one in the blue bag in the back is gluten-free um, Nestle's Toll House chocolate chip, chip cookie dough. Both uh, made with the chopped up chocolate truffles that we were given at Christmas time. That I we didn't eat all of them. I stuck them in the freezer. So I chopped them up and made them into cookie dough. One of the girls is gluten-free, and her husband Brian, Jenny and Brian. Brian should be, I think, gluten-free. Jenny would prefer that he is, but he's not really. He kind of, well, kind of so, so. Anyway, we made it. It's Brian. You have to know Brian. Like, I think he'll eat anything you stick in front of him. His wife would prefer he not do that, but, you know, what are you going to do? He's a grown-up. Anyway, so we made two batches of cookie dough. Both textures came out good. Yes, you're not supposed to eat raw eggs, and but I tasted both doughs. They taste exactly the same. I mean, you know, not the first time I ate raw cookie dough, believe me. Anyway, so we will cook them and have everybody try them. But I think unless there's something weird that happens in the cooking process, they should come out fine. So we'll see. We're going to go walking now. See, he's waiting. I'm waiting. Yeah. Patiently. We're going to go walking oh, now and try to hem and haw and discuss what to make for dinner that's easy, that doesn't take too much time. I don't know. We'll see. All right, I'll be back. Okay, I just failed my first test of the week epically. I forgot <laughs> for a hot second that I had the house keys around my neck and almost walked off without locking the front door. <laughs> Oops. All right. Today is Friday, January 29th, and it's just about 4.30 in the afternoon. I know, right? So this morning, oops, I turned the fan on. So this morning I did a patron and supporter, like Zoom and chat, um, until about lunchtime. And then after lunch, I started back to work on a project, which is finished now, I think. And I did it while I was chatting with patrons and supporters. And um, I, I, know I probably didn't go into depth into instruction on how to do it, but I did do it. We will be showing some of the embroidery stitches I did on it in a different kind of project. But anyway, here's a picture of a, another slow stitch portrait just completed today. I think it's done, but anyway, here you go. Um, and I really, I just st stitched all afternoon. <clears throat> I listened to NCIS New Orleans um, episodes, kind of caught up on those while I was stitching and trying to get a hold of my doctors because evidently I need a refill on one of my prescriptions and my pharmacy can't get a hold of them. So I left a message. Good morning, everybody. So it's our weekly Saturday morning trip to the shops. We've got our list and coupons and a check we need to deposit. And meanwhile, where is she? Oops. Hold on. There she is. You see that? Back there? Right there? She's eating breakfast. I know, right? So anyway, all right, we're going to go get it done and we'll be back. So we're going to go for a walk. Where exactly? I don't know. We might go on a destination walk and get coffee or go to the discovery um, thrift shop. We both have masks in our pockets and all of that stuff. Got a cough drop in because of the asthma. I cough, not all the time, but anyway, because of COVID, I try to control the coughing in public because people think I'm like contagious with the big C, right? Anyway, we're going to go um, walking. And then I'm going to, this afternoon, work on some Valentine sticker flakes, which I haven't even started yet. The ideas are still up here. And I need to get them done because, hello, February 1st is, like, literally around the corner. So, yeah. But we're going to go for a walk first, get some fresh air, 
and I'm gonna park myself on the sofa with my Apple Pencil and I'm gonna get those sticker flakes done. Mark my words. First, Hubby had to go get a warmer coat because he was a little cold. Anyway, um, I think that's it. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, it's been a week. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I don't know. All right. I didn't get a lot of artwork done, but I did get some really cute, I think, images done for a love-themed, Valentine's-themed, for lack of a better term, um, sticker flake set. So the images, I got them all drawn this afternoon while we were watching HBO movie, what was it, The Little Things? Um, anyway, which was a weird movie, but I got drawing done. Um... And I got it done, so that means tomorrow I can get them printed and formatted. I'm going to get some of the images loaded over to Patreon for my supporters there and a couple of the images to YouTube membership for supporters there. So if you want free images that you can print whenever you want on whatever kind of paper you want, you got to be in one of them. It's very, very... Um, low cost and affordable way to support the free content here on YouTube and over in the Facebook art groups, FYI. But I will also sell some of them printed and cut in the Etsy shop so you can get them there. Uh, what else? I think that's it for right now. I did, I also placed an order for some art foamies. Don't tell the husband. Yes, I know. Um, I will be in the lives going forward using I have some ideas for using art foamies my designs and other designers designs and also some of the rubber I have a whole, I have a decent collection of rubber stamps some that I've designed and uh, some other people's stamps I should be using them so I think going forward on the Tuesday lives we're going to be using some of those and doing some interesting things with them along with the occasional painting or whatever sewing thing Anyway, it's always busy. There's always something. <laughs> All right, that's it for the minute. Uh, please support the free content, as I said, how you can. Uh, all the links for everything are down below and or in my link tree list of links, which is down below. Um, check out the free content, but only um, check out the free content. Check out the video description. Um, and don't just to support, the, support the free content for me, um, but your favorite creator or your favorite person creative over in the Facebook art groups, Support them if you can. If they have a way, do do support them. Um, you know these are hard times for everybody, so they could appreciate. They could, I know they would appreciate it if you can afford it. Um, I have some exciting stuff coming up this spring and summer, so stay tuned for that, and I'll be announcing it when I can. And uh, yeah, don't forget to please wear a mask, stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative, and go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Just do it safely. All right, that's it for now. We'll see you next week. Bye, guys.